Alright, what's up guys? This is Seriously Silly with another video. This time featuring the Vanguard Demon. I've seen uh, many posts online comparing this to the Lux as well as the GT. And quite a few people uh, say that the Demon is one of the top ones out there right now. So I just wanted to uh, take this video to let others see well, what is in the box when they get it or we're deciding if they should get it or not but it comes in a really nice leather case probably one of the nicest cases out there um, compared to Planet Eclipse and all the other companies it's a zipped up case with the barrels with some straps holding it down now this one came with two barrels uh, this configuration is a little bit different from the Freak and the the, the ones from MacDev. But you get the back with the front already in there. And this one, we have the 685 and the 689. Now it comes with the back, which is not your typical back. Um, but you thread it through, through the front. And then you put this to your, your marker. So here's one back goes in there and you have your two fronts Just, uh, as far as the other little goodies you have your CD right here you have your warranty and some stickers which is always a nice plus on the other side of the case you have a few boxes one being the uh, the USB to the mini USB and mini as well as a small o-ring kit okay now another box holds A uh, small jar of, of lube grease for your marker. Now the the biggest box. This one holds all the the wall adapters that you one white might need. And you have this one with a USB and you have this type of wall adapter. 110 whatever voltage it may be and for here for us here in the US it also comes with this very nice large Allen key set nice finish on them and they are similar to the Eclipse where they have uh, ball ends So I really like all these ad wall adapters that they supply here. That it all it comes with a with a marker, and not that a lot of people travel overseas, but it's just a nice little plus that comes with the marker. Now this particular one is the demon. Okay, the milling is very nice. It feels nice and solid, uh, fairly light. Now with the ASA right there, inline rag, and the rubber grips. It's very, pretty thin, pretty nice and comfortable with the, the rubberized button pads right here, which is a very nice touch can definitely feel the, the detail in there and in here is where you would charge the marker you just need a, an allen key unscrew this and be able to charge your marker that way one of the definite pluses that I was very pleased with was the screen in the demon it's very nice and bright as you can see right here and it's incredibly clear and very, very easy to 
to change the settings. I like the way that you can see up and down so you can see what the next choices are. So you have even tells you the information of the gun, the, the total shots, so it has a shot counter, the battery level, and the serial number of the gun. Um, as far as the settings, here's your dwell. All the other things that you might want to play with 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 a with a marker. And the fire mode, max, rate of fire, all those other good things. I really, really like this screen. Definitely one of the best ones out there in terms of, of ease of use and be able to just navig navigate through through it without having to look at the the manual if you happen to be new to, to paintball and just happen to have a, a nice high-end gun. But as far as the feel, it feels very nice. And now I'd just like to compare it to the GT. Um, as far as the GT, they feel or the ergonomics are about pretty much the same. If we happen to line it up from the, the grip frame to the reg, it lines up very similarly. So if I would lay to lay it right on top so you could see where the grip would end and as well as the grips. The trigger guard is a little bit bigger on on the GT, but it definitely not in the way on the on the on the Demon. But the ASAs match up pretty nicely. The only difference that I can see is the position of the feed neck. Um, if you can see here, the feed neck of the Demon is a little bit more forward. Um, so I would imagine if this was all set up, if you were to compare both guns, it might be a tad, you would feel a little bit more weight on the front, but you're supporting it anyway, so it wouldn't be that much of a big deal. Um, so basically that's what I have right now in terms of, of how it feels. Uh, the milling, like I said, is very nice. It's very nice and smooth. Um, no tool marks. Um, you have the clamping feed neck right here, which is uh, a good touch. Nice touch, different touch. Just a, a collar. Um, the grips are, are very nice. It's some type of rubber, so it, it should give you a nice grip. And it's not too bulky, it's nice and straight, which uh, for me, I like. The, um, the ASA, I like the knob, it has the deep grooves right here. So when you have um, pretty oily fingers, it's e easy to turn. Okay, uh, as far as shooting, I haven't had the chance to sh really shoot it. But from what I can tell, this is is very very smooth uh, hardly any barrel rise and I was just uh, shooting it one at a time um, however uh, just on just a few minutes of shooting it seems that this is a, a, a bit louder than the GT and I was using the same the same barrel and the same paint um, hopefully in the near future I'll be able to shoot them side by side but for the time being I just wanted to record this to uh, give people uh, a brief comparison on, on on the Demon and the GT, as well as the parts that it might come, it comes with. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like it, please comment. Feel free to comment and and subscribe. Thanks.